I know you've heard a lot about the breast cancer. Have you heard about prostate cancer? We've been talking about the women. It is time to talk about what is actually bothering the men, which is post prostate cancer cancer good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is miss mary popularly known as a nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be talking about the prostate cancer what is this prostate cancer what are the causes of prostate cancer the signs and symptoms of prostate cancer that the men should take note of everything you need to know about prostate cancer that's what i'm going to be discussing with you today <laughs> but before we go into details in today's class if you are new on our youtube channel please click on that subscribe button turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers this is not smith very saying thank you let's go there Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with you prostate cancer. I'm going to be talking about what it is, the causes, who is at risk of getting prostate cancer, and also the warning signs you should take note of. First of all, what is this prostate that we keep hearing? The prostate is a gland in the male reproductive system. It's a gland in the male reproductive system. The prostate is not found in women. It is found in the men alone. The prostate has this walnut shape in adults. But as a man advances, as a man grows, this prostate gland enlarges. It becomes big. It increases in size. So when there is cancer of that prostate, we say that prostate cancer has taken place. For those that are asking, where is this prostate gland located? You know that as human beings, we have uh, a urinary bladder. And for the men, they have what is called the penis. So the prostate gland is located between that urinary bladder and the penis. You can see what is showing on the screen. That part, that one not shape you can see surrounding the urethra, that thing, thing, that tiny hole that brings urine to the penis. That is the prostate gland. So it is between what the bladder where urine is stored and the penis. That is where the prostate gland is located so when there is cancer of this prostate gland then we say oh prostate cancer a man has what prostate cancer hope you are getting it and hope you are following gradually because the location of the prostate gland will give us clue to some signs and symptoms that a man will experience when he's having what prostate cancer that takes us to the cause of prostate cancer like every other cancer, such as breast cancer, the major cause, we can't really pinpoint that this is what is causing the prostate cancer. But there are people who are at risk of going down with prostate cancer. I want you to note that prostate cancer is a number one cause of cancer in men in the UK. And it is very, very common among the black Yes, among the black, the African Caribbean people, they are the ones that are going down with this prostate cancer. So other factors that are risk of getting prostate cancer, the first I have to share with you is the age. As a man ages, as a man advances above 50, he is at risk of getting prostate cancer. So if you have a father above 50, it's advisable you tell them to go for a regular checkup to actually know and understand their body system. Then the second risk factors I have to, risk factor I have to share with you is black. Being black, being an African, being an African Caribbean, actually predispose you for get for coming down to can for coming down with cancer. Yes, it is found that most people that go down with cancer, the percentage were high among the black people so as a black man above 50 please and please try as much as possible to go for regular checkup to know how you are doing then the third risk factors about factor in regards to prostate cancer is obesity for those that are very extremely fat like they have a lot of fat in it, they are obese they are at risk of also coming down with prostate cancer then the other people at risk of coming down with prostate cancer are those that have the family history. Yes, if you have a grandfather, a grandma, a grandfather, a father that has suffered prostate cancer, you might have be at risk of developing prostate cancer. Or if you have a grandmother that has a um, breast cancer, if you have this history of cancer, 
that might put you at risk of going down with prostate cancer. Then another risk factor I have to share with you is men, are men that don't exercise, men that don't keep fit. If you don't exercise, you are always static, you don't move about, you are always in one position, you don't exercise your body. Generally, exercises is good. It is found that those that men that don't exercise, they are likely going to go down with prostate cancer when compared to men that do their normal exercise. Then also, the last one I have to share with you is diet. Yes, I know you like, oh, what do these people want us to eat? And what do you people don't want us to eat? Like I'll always tell you in regards to diet, too much of everything they say is bad. But research is trying to link that increased calcium intake, food rich in calcium, increased calcium intake might lead an individual to develop what? To develop prostate cancer. So these are the risk factors. These are the risk factors that has been researched upon that are likely going to increase an individual's chances of getting down with prostate cancer so if you are among those among these risk factors i've just listed it's advisable to always go for checkup when needed generally as an individual it is good to go for checkup to check your body system to know what and what is happening and what and what need modification or changes then that takes us to the signs and symptoms a man experiences when he's having prostate cancer as to the signs and symptoms a man experiences when he's having prostate cancer see to make you understand better i'm going to be using the picture of the prostate gland you see that picture you see the picture of the prostate gland it's a one not shape it's like it's covering you see it's covering um the the urethra where you ring pass out of the body so you can see if anything that anything affect that one not shape now you see the way the one not shape is if it's continue to expand you know it will not be pressing on that urethra that thing that is surrounded, it will be pressing on it, it will be pressing on it. Definitely, it's going to affect a man's pee, the way he pee. Because that thing is pressing on the urethra. So, the man will be having this urgency. Oh, I want to go and urinate. I want to go and pee. I want to... He will pee and come back and like, I want to go and pee. Why? Because that, that um, will not shape presses the urethra and it will cause that man to frequently micturate, frequently visit the toilet. It's considered like there will be continuous micturition. The man might not be able to control um, urine inputs and outputs. The man might not be able to control, okay, when to start urine and when to stop urine. These things can lead to incontinence if care is not taken. It can cause pain. Just as if that swollen thing pressing on that, pressing on the urethra is pressing on it, that can result in pain. That can result in difficulty with urination. It can also result in difficulty getting erection. It can result in painful ejaculation. It can result in blood in the urine, blood in the semen. It can result in pain around the pelvic region, around the hips. That doesn't go away. So these are the likely signs and symptoms that are going to come out that a man with prostate cancer are likely going to show. Then that takes us to how do I know? How can a man know that he has prostate cancer? A man can know that he has prostate cancer by the symptoms I just listed. When a man is experiencing such system, blood in the urine, blood in the semen, pain in the pelvic region, he goes to see the doctor. The doctor will carry out some tests for him. The doctor will carry out some urine analysis for this man. The doctor will also carry out digital rectal examination to check what is happening. He will decide to carry out MRI scan. He will also decide to do some prostate-specific antigen. But in all, the doctor is in a better position to know which test to do for you. Me, I'm just here to give you a general knowledge of what prostate cancer it's all about so for those that have been asking me about prostate cancer i hope i have been able to provide you an answer to this question so if you are having signs these signs as a man please and please see your doctor it is better for you to see your doctor and the doctor tells you oh mr man mr woman mrs woman everything is wrong everything is okay than for you to assume everything is okay and something is wrong so this is what i have to share with you today in regards to prostate cancer thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not saying thank you bye and see you in our next video